Hey everyone, Cody here from the Product Ace team, and today we're going to talk about a neat little feature in SolidWorks called Pack and Go. Here at Protocase, our main CAD or computer-aided drafting software that we use is a program called SOLIDWORKS. This software leads the industry because it's packed with tons of engineering and analysis features. Since we mainly work in sheet metal as well as CNC machining, SOLIDWORKS features for sheet metal are the ones that we use the most. We've done several tech tips about specific sheet metal design features in SOLIDWORKS before. Check out the links below to watch those if you haven't already or to get a refresher. For today's video, I want to focus on the SOLIDWORKS feature called Pack and Go. So this feature is essentially a file gathering feature for your assemblies. When working in assemblies, you typically have one main assembly file, which has a .sldasm extension and many single part files that make up the assembly, which have a .sldprt extension. The way we work here at Protocase is every working assembly is made within its own folder. Within this folder, you'll find all the necessary files that are needed for said assembly. Our engineering and design services team is the team that reviews your files so that we can provide you a price quote as well as prep the design files so that our manufacturing team can build your parts or enclosures. So we often receive zip folders containing multiple assemblies with many parts. This can be pretty difficult for our team to sort which parts go into which assemblies without opening them up and manually comparing. So this is where the wonderful tool Pack and Go comes into play. So the Pack and Go tool essentially grabs the assembly file and all part files that are associated with it and zips them up into a folder for you. So let me show you how to use the Pack and Go feature. First, you must have SOLIDWORKS installed on your computer. In Windows Explorer, you can right click on the assembly file, navigate to SOLIDWORKS and click Pack and Go. It will display a pop-up box which will show you a tree containing all the files associated with this Pack and Go. So you can pick and choose which ones to include, but it should include all of them by default. You then have the option to include drawings or other data such as simulation results. For us, drawings are important. The nice thing about Pack and Go is that it keeps your drawings as well as part assembly files together. So after you're satisfied with your selections, you can then choose save the group of files to a new folder or a zip folder. After you hit save, you now have one single zip file containing everything you need to open up the assembly. So using the SOLIDWORKS Pack and Go is a small step that has a huge impact for both you and the Protocase team. Why? Because when you prep your files this way before sending them over to get a price quote, it means we will be able to open and analyze your design much more seamlessly. So if we have to spend less time sorting files and figuring out which parts belong where, it means we need less time to analyze your design. And ultimately that means you will get your quote back much more quickly. So in the end, every team here at Protocase, from sales, engineering, and production, works with the goal of moving as quickly as possible. You have critical deadlines to meet and many projects on the go. So by making sure to use the SOLIDWORKS Pack and Go feature every time you send us your design files, you will ensure that we can turn around your quote as quickly as possible. So thanks for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip. I hope it was useful to you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please either reach out to us by emailing info at protocase.com or leave a comment below. We'll see you back here next week for another Tech Tip video.